Ha <laughs> um, ha Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to my video. Today is Friday, the 14th of June, 2024. Um, my name is Dan Kita from Thailand. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Um, my name is Dan Kita from Thailand. In this video, I like to talk about the true drama in Buddhism for the people who have the most wisdom. If you are a real person who wants to end suffering and attain now and then's life, um, you have to listen to me early because I'm Prahan in Thailand. I'm ready to help everyone on this earth to attain now and then's life. Um, I'm ready, um, but are you ready? It's up to you. Um, you know, the word Pralahans means a perfect person who has realized as it really is and has attained it now. Um, Dhamma was taught by the Buddha can solve all problems, not just temporarily but forever. If you want to end suffering permanently, you must attain a this life. Achieving nirvana is the end of all suffering because there is no cause to be born anymore. Uh, the ultimate goal of studying in Buddhism is to attain nirvana only. It's not just about wanting to know what the Buddha taught. Um, then you will suffer again. If you want to end suffering permanently, you must attain nirvana. That's right. Um, <coughs> To Rama in Buddhism doesn't have inspirational quote. There are only the truth that everyone can understand. And you know, um, Buddhism does not teach us to solve life problem and not teach to let go when we are suffering. The cause of suffering is The cause of suffering is, we are misunderstanding. We believe that this is our true self. So we attach to everything in this world. Then we will suffer. Can you stand me? We believe that this is our true self. In reality, what you see now doesn't mean a man who is speaking, doesn't mean a man who is playing a guitar. You see the way you see, you see the way it is. It doesn't mean anything, as I told you. And um, basically, you must first understand what the Buddha taught. The Buddha taught Dhamma only. Dhamma is the true nature of the idea that has no name in any fetishist language. Um, Dhamma is not a human being, it's not an animal, it's not an object. Therefore, Dhamma doesn't mean anything according to the meaning of the Fukushima language as we believe it. You are Dhamma, I am Dhamma. Um, everything in this world is Dhamma. I say this, that is so weird um, because you have never heard someone say Klami before. So first of all, um, when you listen to me, you must be but private to listen and without pressure to me. And consider along as I said over and over again, 
until it goes deep into your eye. Then you will understand it, and finally you will have opportunity to attain the organized flight. Um, the topic to speak in this video, um, let's take a look. Topic to speak in this video. Topic to speak. Um, you were taught to believe in the meaning of E equal MC square and 1 plus 1 equal to uh, which are fictitious language. Um, you know, what it say that? Uh, the following story I will say in this video, I want you to understand about the meaning of the language. You know, uh, the language we use in every life with the spoken language, all of it language. Both of these, both of these languages, it's just the fictional language. It doesn't mean real language. Um, I said it doesn't sound great because you have no heard someone <laughs> say that before. I want you to understand about the language, as I told you. Why did I say that? This is the reason. This is the reason why I say I have to borrow the fictional language to create content and sorry to talk to you first and about the famous idea or thought process or the decorated thought or the thought process. The story in this talk, I want you to understand about the meaning of the language we use in every life. It's just a fictional language, it doesn't mean real language. Mm. Topic to speak in this or I say, um, you were taught to believe in the meaning of E equal MC square and 1 plus 1 equal 2, which are fictional language. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um, you were taught to believe in the meaning of formula E equal mc square um, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared and 1 plus 1 equals 2. Um, why did it say that? Have, because you have never heard someone say climate before. In reality, you know, the language we use in every life is just the fictitious language it does not mean real language. Where can I find the meaning of language? Um, let's take a look again. Uh, um, these are letter. Um, these are letter A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. And these are numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. What do you see now? It doesn't mean letter in English. It doesn't mean number. Um, I say this that is Soviet. Uh, I want you to understand. If you want to be a smart person, you must try to understand every story I can make in the video and consider along as I said over and over again. Um, to Dharma in Buddhism and uh, Dharma practice in Buddhism doesn't mean, um, doesn't mean uh, meditation uh, and doesn't mean mindfulness training. If you want to overcome anger, overcome suffering, overcome depression and anxiety, mm. the best way, uh, you know, if you want to overcome anger, overcome suffering, overcome depression and anxiety, the best way, uh, being aware of what you are thinking, uh, a cat say, meow, 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 a cat say, meow, 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 this is a cat. In uh, reality, what you see now, you were called to believe this is a cat. Where can I find the meaning of the cat? I want you to understand. Uh, what you see now in Brazil is called phenomenon, or something which happened to the mind first when it's in reality. Um, you see the way it is, or you see the way you see. It doesn't mean a cat. Where can I find the meaning of a cat? The meaning of a cat, the meaning of a cat is just the footage language. Uh, what you see now is just a phenomenon. But we name it with a footage record. I say this is a Soviet. Huh? This is a cat. A cat. A cat say meow, meow, meow. No, oh. You see the way it's hit. Uh, while you are saying this, you never use the language. Say to, I'll say, say to yourself, I'm seeing a cat. Ah, oh, you know, I'm tired. I say this is a Soviet. I want you to understand about. 
The meaning of the language we use in every life is just the fictitious language. It doesn't mean real language. Uh, as I told you, or what you see now, uh, you were taught to believe hmm. these are letters A, B, C, D, and these are number one, two, three, four, five, six. No letter all what you see now is depend on it. It's depend on how we want to teach to believe. You were taught to believe. This is letter A, letter B, letter C, and uh, number one, two, three, four, five. Where can I find the meaning of one, two, three, four? Where can I find the meaning of A, B, C, D? Can you understand me? Because you were taught to believe. It's just a brief in your thought, it's in my thought. The meaning of the language, the meaning of the language we use in every life, it's just a fictitious language because you were taught to believe. The meaning of the language is in your thought, it's in my thought. Okay. Meow. A cat say meow. A goat say bear. Meow, 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 meow. A cat say meow. A goat say bear. A cat say meow. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you were taught to believe. This is a cat. This is real cat. This is fake cat. In reality, what you see now is that something. You see the way you see. You see the way this is. But you were taught to believe this is a cat. It is a cat. No, not at all. It doesn't mean a cat. Uh, you see the way you see, you see the way this is. But you were taught to believe this is a cat, and a cat say meal. Uh, you were taught to believe this is real cat. This is fake cat. No, not at all. It's just a phenomenon. Because the meaning of the language is that the language. Uh, you were taught to believe. This is a cat, a cat, real cat, fake cat. It's like the, the word a cat is just a fictional word. It does the language. Wow! <laughs> Let's take a look. In the same way, um, you were taught to believe. This is. Ah, uh, a goat. In reality, you see the way it is. It doesn't mean a goat. The word goat. A goat is just a fictional word. In the same way, uh, as soon as you see this word, we wrote that a bottle of water, the meaning of a bottle of water will lead to what you see now. In reality, what you see now, you see the way you see, you see the way it is. It doesn't mean a bottle of water. The meaning of a bottle of water, it doesn't really exist. A cat, it doesn't really exist. I said this that is so weird because you have never heard somebody say it like me before. Uh, the story in this story I want you to understand about. The meaning of the language we use in every life is just the fictional language. Can you understand me? Um, I have something to show you. Um, let's take a look. As soon as you see uh, the same end, we saw that I love you and I hate you. Uh, you can understand the meaning of I love you. The, me the meaning of the word, the meaning of the word love makes you satisfied. And the meaning of the word hate makes you angry because you believe in the meaning of love and hate. Where can I find the meaning of I love you and the meaning of I hate you? It's just a belief. It's in your thought. It's in my thought. Because you were taught to believe. Can you understand me? You know, I want to say, um, why you are saying this? Why you are saying this? You never use the language say to yourself, I'm seeing a cat. I'm seeing a cat. And in the same way, why you are saying this? Uh, you know, use the language, say to our state yourself, I'm seeing a bottle of water. It is what you see now. This, 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 this. You see the way it is, you see the way you see. Can you understand me? Uh, this is the reason that I, I told you. Uh, when I speak Dhamma in the video, I say uh, at first, I say, 
I have to borrow the fictional language to create content and sorry to talk to you first and about um, the decorated thoughts were the thought process. The decorated thoughts were the thought process are all duty to think or plan. In reality, uh, the meaning of the language is not the legacy because it's such a fictitious language as I told you. I say, hmm? Um, you were taught to believe in the meaning of formula E equal mc square, energy equal mass times the, the speed of light squared, and you were taught to believe in the meaning in the meaning of one plus one equal to both of them. It's just the fictional word. It's not cellular exit. Can you understand me? Um, formula of E equal mc square and the meaning of 1 plus 1 equal to is that the legacy it's just a paper stand with ink what you see now this is a paper this is the ink paper red uh, red ink uh, paper stand with ink paper stand with ink the meaning of e equal mc square and 1 plus 1 equal to it that's a fixed shit right is that the legacy can you stand me this is the reason why I say, uh, when I speak to my, I say, I have to borrow the fictional language to create content and solely to talk to you first and it about, <sighs> about. Being aware of what you are thinking is the best way. Please believe temporarily the set end of being aware of what you are thinking is real. It's real. That's for the standing is out in this video in order to not have to understand it's order anymore. Can you understand me? Please believe temporarily the meaning of the sentence, being aware of what you are thinking is real. That first sending is order in this video in order to not have to understand it's order anymore. Can you understand me? If you want to overcome anger, overcome suffering, overcome depression and anxiety, until you can realize your thought or being aware of what you are thinking is the best way. In this video, I believe that. You can understand me about the language, as I told you. The meaning of the language we use in every life is just a fortitude language. The meaning of the language, it doesn't really exist. Um, please bear in mind.